So you've seen to go viral. You've seen this this rise of like, oh fuck, you know, the, fuck those girls. Our oh, girls are this. Girls are this. Girls are this. Simp. He's a simp. He's a simp. He's a simp. You've seen this like crazy. So you don't even know what to do anymore. Um, I will tell you that the the attitude of like, I don't care about girls, is not that of a superior man. So let's say there's the simp. Only a little bit above him is the red pilled guy. Off the charts is the superior man. They can't be compared. The, these are degenerate, mediocre people. These are real world people. These are the people you see on podcasts. These are the people you see on like TikTok and stuff. The superior men are the kind of people they don't even have like, they're not going on podcasts. David Data has never done a public interview that you can even go and find. It's like you can see a bit of his program he did like 10 years ago. Like these, these are people, religious, like, like they're different levels, right? So it's like these are people who genuinely are experiencing God and love to levels that we don't even understand. They're the people we should be looking up to. And they're probably, they're so high level that they'd be looking at us saying, no, 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 don't look up at me. Like, that's how, like, value they are. Whereas Tate's here, I'm here. Like, oh, yeah, you know, look at me, guys. Like, you know, I've got muscles and shit, right? So we're fucking mediocre people. We need to admit that. So this this vibe that you see that, you know, oh, don't think about girls. There's a truth to it. Don't think about degenerate women when you lust over them because we know 100% every religion every spiritual teacher will tell us lust needs to be controlled if there's a girl shaking her ass on tiktok right now she's not the girl for you simple as that right and she's you know wearing revealing clothes and everything but trust me when i say you know how there's like based guys here bro there's based women who are feeling slightly insecure when they see all this stuff on on instagram they feel kind of the same way that we do and when you partner with one of those women you will have the biggest like spike up in your life that you could ever imagine now i've been in the game for like, quite a long time i know about you know going to the gym and meditating and self-improving monk mode all of this bro, i'm telling you right now monk mode and dopamine detox don't even come close to when you fall in love with a feminine woman and she actually falls in love with you it's not even close you automatically get into this like weird fucking spiritual monk mode where everything goes up so it's like imagine lower tier is like you meet a girl she's a thought she might cheat on you and your life gets worse with her because she just wants to lie around and eat junk food Higher tier is when you meet a woman and you literally race towards your goals faster. You become a better man because you've ended up loving her and she's loved you. There's women out there like that. The idea is don't be thinking, I don't care about girls. Be thinking, I've got high standards. If she isn't a woman like this, if she doesn't have potential for something like this, then I'm not interested. And if she does, then sure, I'm going to see if we're compatible. Excellent question. Should you like go out looking for women? Should you be open to dating? Let me drop some some like free game that I've learned recently. You know when some of the wise guys tell you like be on your purpose. The red pill guys say this. They don't even understand what purpose is. They think purpose means like just making money. But when you're genuinely living to like the purpose, the reason why you were put on this earth and you just do that as best as you can. The reason why guys end up saying that that's when women come to them is because the, the woman who's compatible with you and your purpose will find you or, you know, be in the vicinity when you're navigating your purpose. When you go away from your purpose to go outward to like start looking for other women, that's when you're not on your purpose. So that's when you meet the women who aren't even compatible with the real you because here you are trying to fit in in like a party. And so it's like you meet a de degenerate woman who doesn't fit in with you because you're not supposed to be there. So if you stay aligned to your, your like deepest purpose that you can think of, purpose means like the most real authentic desire that you have if you turned off the internet if you genuinely didn't use the internet for like a week and you just like you know maybe you still went to school but you just sat there no tape podcast no shorts no nothing and you just sat there and you journal and you thought okay what like where am i in life what is it that i actually want forget what tate told me forget what hamza told me forget all these books where is it like what is the thing that i actually want right now and the brain keeps telling you studies because I want to set myself up financially. 
or maybe it's my physical health because I've been sick recently and I, you know, it, it's, it's shameful for me to be a young, but you know, whatever it is, your brain will tell you when you pursue these real desires that you have, which aren't influenced by the internet, by these influences and everything, that's when you're living to your purpose. And when you live to your purpose and you really, really live to it and suddenly you're researching how to like, you know, be less sick, for example, then suddenly you'll go to the library, but with real intention to get the book on like how to cure the disease. And as you grab the book, so does she. That's how you meet someone who's actually compatible with you. You like, you don't go out looking for her because naturally when you look for a woman, you'll go at the hot spots where women are. You'll go to Starbucks and you'll get, you'll, you know, you'll see a girl who's drinking 50 grams of sugar. Is she going to be a good, you know, or you go to the club, you'll go, do you know what I mean? When you look for a woman, you naturally will find the worst women. When you focus on yourself, you'll naturally become such a, an attractive man that that's usually where women will like be around does that make sense